Hey, what is up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me today and welcome to another Microphone Monday where I upload new microphone reviews every Monday. And today what I have for you guys is a review of the Movo UM700. The Movo UM700 is a USB condenser microphone. I have it right here in front of me and the audio that you are hearing right now is coming through this microphone. I'm listening to it with my headphones so I can hear exactly what you guys are hearing. Movo is a company that I am familiar with. They're based here in Los Angeles and I've reviewed one of their microphones in the past, one of their XLR condenser microphones, and I actually thought it sounded pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip of me unboxing this microphone and if at any point if you decide that you like this video or that this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see, the microphone came in a very well padded box. It came with the regular USB cable as well as a USB type C cable. It also came with a nifty little sticker and a contact card as well as the user manual. And Movo also hooked me up with this sweet hat and awesome commuter mug, really cool. And as you can probably tell, the Movo UM700 is designed to be a direct competitor with the Blue Yeti. So what I also wanna do in this video is compare the UM700 with the Blue Yeti. The UM700 goes for $99.95 and the Blue Yeti goes for $129.99. I will have the links to both of these microphones down in the description of this video in case you wanna check either of those out. But just off the bat guys, I gotta let you guys know what I think because I it's getting to the point where I can't even ignore it anymore. But this microphone, I can already tell it's not in the same league as the Blue Yeti. You would think that for the price it would sound a bit better. It has a really loud noise floor. I'm going to turn the gain up a bit so you could hear it better. And just listen to that. I mean, apart from the noise floor being somewhat loud, there's just like this interference, this constant interference noise. It's like... Like, I don't know what that is. I even took a video on my phone, I'll insert it right here. We're like, the, the audio level's just at a constant high. Like, the audio meter's like going like this, like it's, it's crazy, like, how much noise there is in this audio. I just had to get that out of the way because it was like the elephant in the room, like, I'm sure you guys could hear it as well. And the other thing is, I'm monitoring the audio with my headphones. There's a headphone jack on the Movo mic where you could plug it in just like there is on the Blue Yeti so you can like monitor the audio of the microphone. I tried doing that and there was a pretty big delay monitoring the audio through the microphone. I'm assuming it just has a cheap sound card. So I'm actually monitoring the audio through my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and it's a bit better but there's still a pretty noticeable delay and it's just really annoying annoying to listen to. The Blue Yeti is not like that. The Blue Yeti, there's like not a noticeable delay at all, but the, the delay of this microphone is incredible. Like it's a really big delay. The delay of this microphone is just like unacceptable in my opinion. I would not, like if I was actually gonna seriously be using this microphone, it would literally drive me insane. I wouldn't be able to use it. But I mean, now that I got that off my chest, we can go ahead and get into the features of the mic. So there is a mute button on the front of the mic, just like there is on the Blue Yeti. You have the volume control for your headphones on the mic as well. If you are monitoring the audio through the mic, if you look at the bottom of the mic, that's where you'll plug in your USB cable and your headphones. You could also attach the mic to a mic stand. And then on the back of the mic, just like the Blue Yeti, you have the gain knob. And under that, you have the different recording patterns. The recording patterns are the same like they are on the Blue Yeti. You have the stereo, the omnidirectional, the cardioid, and the bidirectional. One funny thing that I noticed in the instructions is that they mixed up the omnidirectional and the cardioid. So that was kind of like a red flag to me right there. And in my opinion, that's a pretty big error because somebody who might not know about microphones will just take that for face value and think that the omnidirectional is the cardioid pattern and the cardioid pattern 
is the omnidirectional, it's extremely misleading. And I actually had really high hopes for this microphone because I actually like their XLR condenser microphone that I tested before. But this microphone is just not cutting it for me, especially with a price tag of a hundred bucks. I mean, it's a no brainer. Like what? Like for 30 extra dollars, you get the Blue Yeti. It's like, a, it's like night and day. What I want to do right now is I want to switch over to the Blue Yeti. All right, guys, that is so much better. Like, I know that it's not as extreme for you guys because you guys couldn't hear the delay that I was hearing. For you, everything sounds fine as far as the delay goes. But I mean, oh my gosh, that delay was driving me insane. I felt like the, the amount of relief I have now, I literally felt like I had to go to the bathroom like so bad when I was using the Movo mic. And then when I switched to the Blue Yeti, it was like, Oh, I finally got to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how this microphone is making me feel right now. It's not even a comp. It's no competition, guys. It's like I was gonna go ahead and go through all the different recording patterns of the Movo microphone, but I just can't stand it. I cannot. Like, oh my gosh, guys. Like, I don't want to sound like I'm just like talking like a bunch of trash about that microphone, but I mean, oh man. I I mean, I could see what they're going for, but in my opinion. They have a lot of developing to do with that microphone. It has potential. They got to figure out what that interference was about. They got to get a better sound card in that thing. Um, they got to fix the instruction manual. The way things stand right now, you know, you're definitely better spending the extra $30 and um, getting the Blue Yeti. I mean, personally, I know microphones in the $30 to $40 range that sound better than the Movo, than this Movo microphone. Oh, by the way, guys, there's this microphone. I've done a review on it before by Fine Fine. Here it is right here. Check out the review of this microphone. I'll link it down in the description below. If you're looking for an alternative to the Blue Yeti, this Fine Fine microphone is a great example. I could definitely recommend this uh, Fine Fine microphone you know it has all the different recording patterns it's it's like a very comparable microphone to the blue yeti and i actually did a video where i compared it to the blue yeti so if you want to check that video out i'll go ahead and link it down in the description below i think it probably also goes for around a hundred dollars but check that video out if you're looking for an alternative to the blue yeti if not the blue yeti is still a solid choice i mean i've had this microphone since probably like i don't know 2011 or something and it still holds up to this day but the movo mic man it's just not it. I guess what we could do is we could go ahead and go through the different recording patterns just make sure they work. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. All right, guys, we're back over at the Movo mic. Let's just try to get this over with really quick. This is pretty painful to listen to, but let's go ahead and just run through the different recording settings. So right now we are on the cardioid recording pattern, so it should just be picking up audio from the front for the most part from the front. So let's go ahead and turn the mic around. Everything seems good so far. All right, that setting worked. Now we are on the stereo setting, so I'm just gonna turn the microphone around. It's picking up from the front and this side. Let's see what happens when I turn it to the back. Okay, it's not picking up from the back. It's not picking up from the other side. For some reason, the stereo setting is picking up audio from the front and the side. That is not stereo. That's not how this should work. So the stereo setting does not work. Now we're on the omnidirectional setting. It should pick up audio from all the way around the mic. Let's go ahead and just test this out. All right, that seemed to work. And finally, we are testing out the bi-directional setting. So it's picking up from the front and it's picking up from the back and the sides, not so much. All right, the bi-directional works fine. The stereo did not work. That was really weird. That's actually pretty bad that the stereo setting just didn't record in stereo. That didn't make any sense. It recorded from right here and recorded from right there on the other side. So yeah, this microphone can't record in stereo. Let's switch back over to the Blue Yeti just so this sounds better. Woo, all right guys, I can breathe a sigh of relief because we're now back over at the Blue Yeti and I just, oh man. They either gotta like further develop this mic or they have some very serious quality control issues wherever they're getting these from or wherever they're making these. I don't wanna sound like I'm being like super mean, but I couldn't imagine having the nerve to sell this product to people for a hundred dollars. I can't imagine having the audacity to do something like that. I mean, I really wanted to like this mic when I opened it up because you know, I liked their other mic, the XLR mic that I tested out before. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I had some pretty high hopes for this 
one, but I mean, you know, it is what it is, guys. So yeah, in the end, guys, you know, you definitely want to go with the Blue Yeti if you're choosing between one of these mics, or even the, the Fine Fine. The Fine Fine's a good mic as well. I'll have the links to all these mics down in the description below. And guys, I'm sorry if I came across really negative in this video. I don't want to say negative things. I want to review good products. That's what I want. I want to review good products. But of course, if I come across a product that I do not feel is good, you know, I have to be honest and I have to express that. So if you like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new mic reviews every Monday. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.